All right. Well, I want to do this to the best of my ability here, but I wanted to kind of go through this on paper. So first, you should your name. If we get this, remember this is the atomic number because it's the number of protons. We have our symbol, which is the letters that represent the atom. We have the element name, which is the actual name of the element. And finally, we have our atomic mass. All right, so what I'm gonna try and do is zoom in a little bit so you can see this maybe a little better. All right, so what I want to look at is how we fill out this first kind of row. So with this, now you have a periodic table, or you should have it on the back of your book. But we find the element, in this case, we're looking at oxygen right here. Now it's the example, so we can just use that. So for name, we just put the name in, oxygen. Now. The atomic number is right here. This is where we're going to get that from, which is 8. These three, atomic number, number of protons, and number of electrons, those are going to be the same for all of the, uh, for the whole atom. So if it's atomic number 8, it's because it has 8 protons. If it has 8 protons and it's a balanced atom, which we're going to assume they all are, it has 8 electrons. Atomic mass I'm going to get from right here. It's going to go right here, and I have 15.999. Now, the only thing we have left now are neutrons. Now, to find neutrons is the number of the mass minus the protons. Whatever's left is neutrons. So take 15.99 minus 8, and I get 7.99. Okay, again, for zinc... The, atomic, the abbreviation for zinc is ZN. You can get that from your periodic table if you need it. Atomic number is here, so that's 30, which means I have 30 protons, and I have 30 electrons. Those are always going to be the same. I can do the whole worksheet and just transfer this number on the top to the no number, protons, and electrons for the whole sheet. Mass is always this number here. That's our mass, so 65.39. And we find our mass by subtracting our mass minus our protons, and we get 35.39. Remember, there could be a different number of protons and neut or neutrons and not affect the charge of the atom. Okay, lithium. That's what this is. So the name is lithium. Okay, let's get your chart. I tell you this atomic number is the atomic protons, which is the number of electrons. The mass is 6.941. How did I get that? Because this is the mass. Let's take 6.941, subtract your 3, and you have 3.941, and that is the number of neutrons left. Again, it's an average. So hopefully that's a little more easy to read than the other instructions I gave. Uh, in case you missed this part, the atomic number is the number of protons. I do not want to use electrons because electrons don't always have to be equal. But then mass is protons and neutrons. And then for this page and the back page, you're going to fill out the rest the same way. I will post a key on Classroom uh, after we've completed the activity.